Hey there guys, hope you're all doing well. This is Chetan here from Devil Cube and welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, this is gonna be a little different. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys the new updates and the new features into Adobe XD. So this is the uh, August 2017 update for Adobe XD. And if you guys don't know, Adobe XD releases a monthly update with new features packed in uh, every month. So without further ado, let's get started. Before I start off, I want to mention that I do have a master course on Adobe XD on my channel. I'll put a link to that down below in the description. And if you watch the course, you're going to learn a lot about Adobe XD from start to finish, you know, creating screens, prototyping, exporting, sharing, a lot of things. So definitely do check that out. And uh, as you see on the screen, all these screens were created using that course. So if you guys want to learn how to create them, just definitely check that out. So let's get started. So the first one is the asset panel. So if I come over here and click on this button, which is called assets before it was called the symbols. Now it's called assets. I'm going to get this asset panel, you know, uh, like, like this. And we have three categories over here. We have colors, we have character styles, and then we have symbols. Now I'm not going to be explaining to you what symbols is, but there is a video in my master course, which, uh, you know, I talk about symbols, but if you want a brief understanding, I, I would say it works similar to colors and character styles. So it's the same thing. So now how do we use this asset panel? So I'm going to zoom into my login screen over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and create a big selection like so um, of all uh, my objects and my text. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on this plus button, which is going to add in color swatches. So what basically Adobe Hex D has done is it's gone ahead and taken all the color data from all the screens and parts that I selected and it's created them into single swatches and if i click on the character styles it does the same thing for the text so whatever layer styles colors and things uh, i added to the text it's going to create a character style for me like so now let's see what's actually happened now for example if i go ahead and right click on this i can have five options so i have edit apply as border apply as fill copy and delete so delete you know is just delete and edit is what i can change the color for so if i go ahead and click on edit and if i go ahead and just change this to a green color you can see all the elements in my entire document which had the color red is now having the color green so if i just swipe uh you can see everything is green in color so this is very handy and so this is very handy when it comes to situations where you have hundreds and hundreds of artboards and you just you just can't go ahead and change everything if you convert one of them into a symbol then you can automatically change it so it automatically updates everywhere so i'm going to go ahead and just press ctrl z to undo that now this works on the gradient as well so as you can see i have a gradient over here so if i double click on this or actually right click and choose edit i can go ahead and set this to a blue color and as you can see we get a blue color gradient everywhere this gradient was previously applied Okay, now the other thing is copy, which is basically copy and apply as border and apply as fill. So if I go ahead and create a circle like so, and if I click on this uh, button and right click and choose apply as fill, you see it's going to go ahead and apply the fill over here. And if I want in this color stroke, I can right click and choose apply as border and that's going to apply a border to this. Uh, but obviously I want this to be applied as a fill and this to be applied as a border. So now you can see the difference. I don't actually see, you can see the difference. So I'm going to go ahead and say this as fill. I'm sorry, apply as border, and this is going to be apply as fill. And there you go, we see this uh, border over here. So we're going to increase up the border to see like five. You can see what's happening. So I'm just going ahead and delete that. Now the next one is the character style. So basically character styles is the font, the typeface, the size of the text and things like that. So as you can, this is an extra bold and this is a semi bold. So for example, if I go ahead and just copy this, uh, this text right over here. Let me just set this to black for now. There you go. So see that was pretty handy and uh, This is actually a semi bold But if I want to make this to extra bold I can just click on this and it's gonna make it an extra bold and it's gonna apply the same properties Which includes the color as well But now for example, I want to change the font of uh, you know all everything the client doesn't like all the fonts and the typefaces All I can do is I can right click and choose edit and I can come over here to Typograph Pro and I can choose a random font. So I don't know, let's try something like Type Poster. And there you guys, you can see all the fonts and the typefaces changed and it is pretty good. 
All right, so the next thing I'm going to take a look is about the Creative Cloud Library. Now, the Creative Cloud Library is available in all the Adobe XD softwares, After Effects, Premiere Pro, Illustrator, and it's a very handy tool. Uh, I, would, I wouldn't say a tool, but a very cool feature which enables designers and editors and collaborators and, you know, a team working on a single project to uh, easily move about in, inside a project. So if I go ahead and click on the OpenCC libraries, you're going to see we have uh, this. So I actually just have a couple of you know, this blank uh, doc, uh, libraries that I created. And this is the one which is called a Jersey Presentation 2, which is just, just ignore the name, doesn't matter. But as you can see, I have colors over here. Uh, I have the character styles and uh, things like that. So if you want to know how to create uh, those libraries, all you got to do is open up your document. So this is just a presentation I made uh, recently. And if I go to window and choose a libraries, you're going to get this panel. And all I have to do is I can click on this button which says new library from document and it's going to go ahead and create all the character styles, colors, layer styles, and smart objects, everything that is available in this document. And if I just click on create new library, it's going to do that and it's going to sync it. But I'm not going to do that because I already have something over here. All right. So up next, we have pasting layer styles. So for example, if I click on this button, which has a gradient from a lighter red to a darker red and I right click and choose, uh, let's see, copy. What I can do is I can come over here to, uh, you know, and any text or an object, I can right click and choose paste appearance and the shortcut is control alt to And what that's going to do is that's going to apply the same layer style to this as well. All right. So next one is about pasting interactions. Now I just have six artboards over here, but if you're creating a very big project, which has around 30 to 40 artboards and linking is going to be a very big task and a very big problem, you know, it, you just can't go ahead and manually make um, a lot of changes. Uh, you just can't go ahead and make a lot of repeated steps. So here is what I'm going to show you guys. Now, as you can see over here, uh, this button is linked to this artboard and this button is the same, has, you know, has the same link. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of that. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this. And as you can see, since this is linked to this, I can right click and choose copy. And on this button, I can right click and choose paste interaction. And that's going to do is that's automatically going ahead and uh, apply the same properties. All right. So the next one is something which I cannot show you on Adobe XD. It's basically a redefined user experience for the Android and the iOS apps. So I just going to put a link in the description for you guys to download the apps. I do have a video on how to use these apps in my master course. So if you want to check that out, definitely do check that out. All right. So coming up to the last part, we have UI resources. Now the UI kits is something that was initially introduced in Adobe XD and now they have taken this to a whole new level. I mean, it's completely amazing about based on the amount of time they spent to create this UI kit. I'm going to put a look at, I'm going to put a link down below in the description, uh, to one of the videos in my master course again, where I show you guys the UI kits and here I'm going to show you guys, you know, what's the change. So if I come over here and I click on UI kits, you see, I have Apple iOS, Google material and Microsoft windows. When you click on any one of these, it's going to open up a new website in your browser. So here I am on Chrome and this is for windows. This is for Google and uh, this is for Apple, which is still loading. So we're going to wait. Uh, so basically these are toolkits and resources for developing your websites and your app. So basically these contain guidelines, these contain templates, uh, you know, these contain the exact dimensions of uh, objects, elements that you can use. So, there is a bunch of things that you have over here. So intro to app UI design, you know, we have layouts and styles. So these basically make sure that you are on the right track. You are doing things the right way. And you also have tools and samples. So for example, this says this set of actions for Adobe Photoshop generates the six recommended tile and icon assets from just seven files. A uh, lot of important things that you need to know so that you can work faster and work very efficient. Uh, we have something like the photo sharing app. I've never actually, uh, you know, tried out and tested all of these. Um, and you, we have these hue lights. Uh, if I go here to the sticker sheets, so we have sticker sheets for uh, XD, After Effects, and Photoshop. We have color palettes, devices, the fonts, shadows, a lot of amazing things uh, to go ahead and help you with your design process. So that's pretty much it on the August 2017 update for Adobe XD. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to mention that in the comment sections down below. And don't forget to check out my course. It's going to be very helpful to everybody. So thank you guys once again, and I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.